Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are putting Samsung's Note 20 Ultra and Apple's iPhone 12 Pro Max in a showdown against each other to find out which device is actually worth your thousand dollars. Just to note that these are the biggest and best phones that both Samsung and Apple have to offer right now. And although the iPhone 12 Pro Max is yet available only on pre-order, we have all the details we need for this comparison. So let's get started. Starting off by saying that both these phones are amazing. Like I said, they're the best that both companies offer. And of course, they come with the price tag to match. The iPhone 12 Pro Max will start at $1099 for 128GB and go up to $1399 for 512GB, while the Note 20 Ultra starts at a higher price of $1299 for 128GB and goes up to $1449 for the 512GB version. But keep in mind that the Note 20 Ultra supports storage expansion via a microSD card if you need to upgrade in the future, whereas with the iPhone you need to choose your model correctly because there is no way to upgrade after purchase. Moving on to the design, they are both glass sandwich designs. The iPhone has the new flat edge design and what they call a surgical grade stainless steel frame which is very shiny and a fingerprint magnet by the looks of it. Talking about magnet, there is a circular array of magnets on the back of the iPhone that are used to wirelessly charge the iPhone provided you buy the proprietary $40 MagSafe charging puck that Apple sells separately which sticks to the back of the phone to charge it. Other wireless chargers also work with the phone as it uses the Qi wireless charging standard but they just won't stick to the back of the phone. Coming to the Note 20 Ultra, it has an aluminum frame and Gorilla Glass 7, also known as Gorilla Glass Victus on both the front and back. The design aspect that stands out are the cameras, which is a triple camera setup with laser autofocus. It's totally fine if you don't like the design, but I'm a fan of this design. It's one of the best designs in a Samsung phone in a long time, and the matte finish mystic bronze color plays a huge part in that. The iPhone on the other side also has a matte finish back and now comes in a new pacific blue color option which looks great. It also has a triple camera setup and a lidar scanner for better augmented reality. Talking about screens, the Note 20 Ultra has a massive 6.9 inch Quad HD Plus screen with a 120Hz refresh rate and those curved edges on both the sides of the screen. It's one of the best smartphone displays available in the market with the only real downside being that 120Hz and QHD Plus resolution cannot be enabled at the same time. The iPhone 12 Pro Max on the other side features a Super Retina XDR display, but saying that doesn't really mean anything, it basically means that it's an OLED display. Anyway, it has a 6.7 inch screen with a resolution slightly above 1080p and a standard 60Hz refresh rate which makes it fall way behind the Note 20 Ultra. On top of that, the iPhone also has the same notch that we saw on the iPhone 10 all the way back in 2017, featuring all the Face ID components, while the Note 20 Ultra has a tiny hole punch camera and an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner under the display. Coming to performance, the iPhone 12 Pro Max runs on the A14 Bionic, which is a 5 nanometer chipset and is by far the most powerful processor in a smartphone today. The Note 20 Ultra features the best that Snapdragon offers, which is the 865 Plus processor, and both the phones support 5G if that's available to you. Overall, there is no way you are going to have performance issues with any of these phones, but there will be a noticeable difference in terms of battery life. The Note 20 Ultra has a 4500mAh battery and the iPhone has one that is slightly under 4000mAh. But considering that the iPhone runs on a more efficient A14 Bionic processor, has a smaller 60Hz display, in addition to all the software optimizations, the iPhone will offer a much better battery life than the Note 20 Ultra, which hasn't exactly been praised for its battery performance. One feature that the Note 20 Ultra has that just doesn't exist on the iPhone is the S Pen. It's a great tool for those who use it and if you think you need it, look no further from the Note 20 Ultra. It's the best smartphone stylus experience available in the market. If you want to know more about it, be sure to check out my full review of the Note 20 Ultra. Wrapping up this showdown, both the Note 20 Ultra and iPhone 12 Pro Max have their pros and cons. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is going to have the best camera of any iPhone, with a larger sensor than the 12 Pro and sensor shift image stabilization, in addition to the capability of recording and editing Dolby Vision footage right from your smartphone. But we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. For now, the Note 20 Ultra is a better package according to me, 
and you also get the 25 watt charging brick and AKG earphones right in the box. Well that's it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next video.